Hello, everyone, in the EDTP 201 Betty's class. Uh, this is Steve again. Remember, we got together and learned all about Google Classroom. Betty has turned me loose again to work with you on a part of your final. We're going to be creating something using a tool called Animoto. This will be your way of demonstrating your understanding and your way of illustrating this prompt. What does it take to be an effective teacher in the 21st century or global game changers? Your scaffolding will be what is the role of the effective teacher? What does curriculum look like with the effective teacher in the 21st century? What is the classroom environment of the effective teacher in the 21st century? What does diversity look like? And what are the teaching methods? What are the pedagogies that a effective teacher in the 21st century would employ? So that is basically your assignment. Now, where I've got here where it says questions, text Steve at 502-457-2937. I mean that sincerely. Now, I'm not going to be able to answer the kinds of content questions that Betty is going to be able to answer, but I am here for you with any of the issues you might have using the Animoto. Do not hesitate to text me with questions. What I want you to realize is that when you do it the first time, just make sure you put a name to it. Hi, Steve. This is Joe from Betty's class. I have a question about something. That way I can keep track of who is who is texting me, not because I'm trying to be uh, draconian about anything. I'm just trying to know who's talking to me. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to do an Animoto. This is more fun than a box of puppies. I have to be honest with you. This is more fun than a box of puppies. Um, and right now, when we have the thing completed, my idea is, and I've shared this with Betty, is that you're either going to put it into your uh, Google Classroom as an announcement, remember how to do that, or she's just gonna have you post it somewhere. I'm not sure, I'm gonna let her make that decision. I'm gonna show you how to use Animoto. Get ready to have a lot of fun. First thing it does when you click on that link is it takes you right back to the prompt. And let's see now. Animoto is an audio, video, text presentation tool. It is PowerPoint or Google Slides on steroids. It is a beautiful tool because it makes extremely, extremely artistic presentations. But it also has the ability for you to really demonstrate your understanding of the stuff that you've learned in 201. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But right now, I just want you to take a look one more time. This is your prompt, those are your scaffolds. So if you think in terms of it being a presentation, think of each one of these as a slide. So your first slide might be, what does it be an effective teacher in the 21st century? And then you might have another slide that is your title. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. And then you would have a slide about the role, slide about the curriculum, slide about the classroom environment, slide about diversity, a slide about teaching methods, and then a slide that is a summary. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight slides, that's all. The slides are, can be as rich or as sparse as you want them to be. The thing though that Betty is requesting of you is to employ the recording capability so that your slide really can demonstrate your understanding. Because now you're gonna talk, you're going to explain what you meant about the picture you chose or basically, you can just explain what you think the role ought to be, the curriculum ought to be, classroom environment, diversity, and the pedagogies. And then picture is there to just illustrate it. So here we go. I'm going to click on the link that takes me to Animoto. This is takes you there. These are the guides. You know me. I always put in stuff for you to be able to use. If you're the kind of person who needs to watch somebody besides listening to me prattle on, here it all is, this 
is a website that takes you through everything you'll ever want to know how to use Animoto. It is about as complete as it can be. By the way, the Animoto is a really powerful way for you if you want to develop uh, stuff. I've had people use Animoto to make their wedding announcements, do their party planning. Um, in this time and day and age, we all having to stay home. You could use the Animoto as a way of uh, getting out some beautiful presentations to share with your family about what you're doing. Um, it's a really, really nice tool. So let's go play. So the Animo online site, I need you to create a, an account. So you're going to use the sign up for that. I would recommend you use your Gmail account. It just makes life easier, as you'll see here in just a second. Because once you've made that account and once you've logged in, when you go over here to log in under that account, it says, well, hi, you're back. How do you want to log in? And I'm going to say, I'm going to log in with my Google. And since I'm in Chrome, it remembers what my Google is. And I go, boom, and now I'm here. This is a free trial. Don't worry about it. You still have access to everything. All it does is it puts this watermark in the upper uh, left and lower right corners. It's not very um, distracting at all. You won't have any trouble with it. I'm going to come up here to where it says create, boom. And now it wants me to use a template. I am not a fan of the templates, not because, you know, they don't look any good. They look great, but it's, it's too much work. There's too much stuff in the way. I've got to take out their pictures, take out their text. I got to do all this stuff. Just let me make my own. Thank you very much. And I can do that by going over here where it says start from scratch. Now I do have to pick a video style. And that's okay because I need to have a place that kind of decides what my colors are going to look like, what my text is going to look like. And so here's where I'm going to make that decision. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this standout one. It's going to say, do you want to be a 16 by 9 or do you want to be a um, square? Thank you. I want to look cinematic, so I'm going to be a 16 by 9. And it chooses, I've chosen that style. Now, once I'm in here, I can change up the style. I'm not stuck with it. And I can do that all the way. I can be at the very end of my thing and I can go, wait a minute. I really don't like the way this looks. I can come back here and I click on style and I can change what I want it to be. Simple as that. It uses what it calls blocks. Now, to me, the block is nothing more than different kinds of slides. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a block. This is where it really stands out. Look at the things you can put in here. You can put in photos. And my goodness, they made your job easier. You'll see in just a minute. They can, you can put in a video and they have made your job easier to put it in. You can put in a collage. And that's one of the coolnesses. I really, really like the collages. We can put in text. And that would be for like our title page. We can put in quotes. We can put in a logo. We don't need to. We can put in a photo burst. <laughs> photo bursts are cool. Uh, you don't have to use all of these. Please don't feel like you have to use all of them. But have fun. You know, play around with them. So that's the first thing I have to decide. So I'll go down here and I'll pick on text. And now I'm going to put in my title to my presentation. I'm going to go the effective teacher, once I spell it right, the effective teacher cares. And I'm going to say done. Now, as you can see, I now can see what it's going to look like. And once I've done that, I can come down here and I can click on this little microphone. Now, let me give you a heads up about the microphone use. The microphone use, you need to give yourself some pauses at the beginning and pauses at the end. In other words, don't just automatically turn it off when you're finished talking because it has a tendency to kind of clip you. 
So give it a second to start and give it a second to end. Three seconds, do a silent count. One, two, three, record. Talk, 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 finish. One, two, three, turn it off, okay? I'm gonna click on where it says record and I'm gonna hold it to record. Do my silent count. The effective teacher cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. One, two, three, stop. Okay. Now you're not gonna count like that. <laughs> you're, you're going to count silently to yourself. Okay, let's see how it turned out. I can hear it. The effective teacher cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. Hey, whoa, wait a minute, Steve. There's all that noise. Where's that music coming from? Right here. Right here. So you can come down here and you can click on music. And at this point, you can change the music. You can go through this whole sh shooting match and change the music. You can change the music for each slide. Well, what else is the problem? It's too noisy, Steve. Yep, sure is. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drop the sound level. Let's see what it sounds like now. The effective teacher cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. Cool, huh? Okay, so I can control for the music. Now notice also down here that I can have the music just keep looping. Okay, I don't have to, I'm not stuck with that. So I'm going to do a little, and if I, if I hate the music, this is the part that's so cool. If I hate the music, come up here to change, come down here to browse the full library. Well, find yourself a new piece of music if you don't like that one. And I don't really like it all that much. So I'm going to go to sunshine. I like sunshine. Um, and I just want to show you how enormous of a collection of music this is. It has everything in here from cinematic. Okay. To country, to hip hop, to electronica, to instrumental, uh, to kids. Oh, oh, let's go back to the kids one because there's some really cute ones in here. Um, it's just so full of great music. You will not have to go hunting for music. You'll find it here. It's a great, great resource of music. And it's all copyright and licensing free. What in the world is a spam song? Let's look at that. Well, I apologize to my Hawaiian friends. Obviously, that's what it is. It's a Hawaiian piece of music. Okay, I'm going to go back to where I was. Let's see, what was I going to use? I was going to use that sunshine, the spam song. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could do that. Or I can go and go away. Are you getting the idea? You can change it up any way you want to. Steve, can I change this up in the middle of the fact that I've, I've gone through and I really would rather use something else? Yep. Okay. You don't have to be stuck. Oh, here, listen to these. The country ones are the best in terms of if you're looking for something to actually tell the story. Now, you know, 
you know, you, you can say to me right away, well, uh, Steve, that's going to get in the way of my uh, talking. And you're right. I'll show you a way to fix that. Um, let me see if I can find, um, what was I going to use? Sunshine, wasn't it? So uh, that would be the easiest way to do it is that you're going to find your music. You can change it at any point that you want to. You're not stuck with it. And you can make it however you want it to be. There it is. There's my sunshine. My heart's been I'm going to go ahead and pick it because I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Okay. So at this point, I've got some music that I have now changed. Oh, it's sweet potatoes. I don't want sweet potatoes. I don't want to use uh, the part where they're singing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just go ahead and pick my sunshine, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll use my sunshine here. But let me show you what I can do with that. If I come up here and there's only a part of the sunshine I want to use, or like in the sweet potatoes, they started singing on me, I can trim the song. So I can look at or listen to. And at the beginning, I've got a great piece of music. But then all of a sudden, somebody starts singing. No problem. I'll just come up here and I'll move my slider. And I'll crop it out. And so it'll play to that point, and then it stops. So I have that nice, just that piece of music. And, of course, we've already determined that we need to turn it down a little bit. It's a little loud. And let's hear what it sounds like. The Effective Teacher Cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. One, two, three. All right. So remember, do that silent count to three before you start recording yourself. And then at the end, do the silent count to three before you stop it. You now see how you can add music to it. Isn't this cool? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add a new block. Now, let's do a photo block. So in this one, I'm going to go up here to media and I'm going to go to their stock. Because it says right here, they've got over a million images and videos. So what if we typed in role of the teacher. Let's be literal and see what happens. Oh my God. Look at all of these pictures that they threw at us. So in here, I can find a picture. Now, if I'm not getting a lot of stuff out of it, no harm. Go back in and do it again. Do teacher role. There you go. Now I'm starting to see stuff that I really like. Look at the videos. See what they sound like. <laughs> okay. See what this one looks like and sounds like. That's almost creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go look at this one. This one is what I think I'm looking for. I'm going to drag him over and put him into my slide. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Because now I can see it better and I can work with it. And over here, I've got my same buttons that I would have down at the bottom of it. And I like it and I can play it and hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a text in here and the text is going to be the role of the effective 
teacher. Got it. I can size it. I can do whatever I want with it. See how big it is right there? So if I want to make it a little bit smaller, I could. So I can get it in one line on the screen, which kind of looks nice. But what else can I do now, folks? And you know this now. I can come up here and I can hit my microphone. And now I can start talking about my idea of what the role of the effective teacher is. Click once. Click again, count to yourself to three, start talking when you're finished, count to three to yourself, and then turn it off. The role of the effective teacher should be a guide. It should be a cheerleader. It should be someone who's there to make sure that their students succeed. Got it. I can play it if I want to hear what it sounds like. The role of the effective teacher should be a guide. It should be a cheerleader. It should be someone who's there to make sure that their students succeed. Uh, come on, is that cool or what? Now I wanna show you, there's a play button down here, which I did play. And all that does is to show you what the slide is gonna look like when it comes in. I don't wanna you know, throw you. And then if you wanna hear what everything sounds like and how it's gonna look, you go up here and you click play. Hit the X, boom. You're now ready to move on to your next block. We go back, we look at our content. We now know that uh, we have to start talking about curriculum and we have to start doing the other things. So I'm gonna add a new block. Let's do a video this time. And just for giggles, let's go in here and put in curriculum. Let's see what we get. I hope it's not the guy holding the globe looking at us again. So let's see, what do we got? Uh, let's try this one. <laughs> oh, he's trying to teach him how to drive. Okay, well, well that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's see if we can find something look more curricularly. Curricular E. Oh, we're gonna learn how to grow plants. Oh, you know, that's not, that's not a bad one right there for learning, you know, hands-on. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. And then we have a picture. We got more pictures than we have anything else. Let's see what this one looks like. She's not a, okay, it's telling me you can't use that, Steve. I'm not a uh, picture. So I'm going to delete the video block and I guess I'll have to go back to using a photo block again. Oh, let's do the collage. Can we do the collage? Cause it's cool. So I'm gonna pick that particular look of collage, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the curricular thing again. Uh, this time, I think I'm gonna do it just to make sure that it might give me different looks depending upon what I'm looking for. All right, so I can go and drag a picture in here. I can go find a, another picture and drag it in here. I can go and find another picture and drag it in here. I love the collage look. I, I just like that. I don't know why I like it so much. I just love it. Okay. Again, I can double click on it because it makes it easier for me to see it. And I'm going to come in here and use up here is my starting point. And I'm going to put And again, remember, I can change up the title size wise if I want to try to get it all to fit in one line on the screen. And you also now know that what we're asking you to do 
is course to record your voice. And so I would come up here and I'll click on my microphone again. Hold it down to record. Do the quiet count. One, two, three. Start talking. When I get to the end, do the quiet count. One, two, three. And then stop it. Curriculum in the effective teacher's classroom of the 21st century is multifaceted. It can, rep it can represent direct instruction. It can be all about students learning together. It can be all about students learning from experts. It is a multitude of different ways of learning. Okay. And once it's done, I can play it so I can hear what it sounds like. Curriculum in the active teacher's classroom of the 21st century is multifaceted. It can rep We don't need to keep hearing Steve prattle on. You getting the idea? Now let's do one more so I can show you what it looks like because it, I think, is one that I know Betty wants you to uh, incorporate into this. And that's the quotes. So when I do a quote one, I'm basically putting in text that's the quote and then I'm going to put in the author of the quote. Goodness gracious, you would think I've been prepared for this. So let me jump out of here real fast um, and find a quote. An investment in knowledge pays, the, isn't that interesting? I like that one. Let's do the famous quotes about learning, shall we? Okay. Um, oh. Hello, it doesn't have who said these things. We would appreciate that. You know, it's kind of, um, oh, he said that? I didn't know that. Did you know he said that? Oh, Leo. Love Leo. If you, if you haven't read anything or heard anything from Leo, you need to go look at it. I'm going to grab Malcolm here. So I'm going to grab Malcolm. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it into my Animoto text, ding, uh, and then right below it, what am I going to do there? I'm going to credit him. I spell his name right. Okay. Isn't that cool? See how it sets it all up and makes it look nice? All right, let's go and do one more just for giggles. Let's try the photo burst. I have never done a photo burst yet, so let's see what that can look like. So let's double click it so I can bring it up here. Oh, it wants me to put in three different pictures. All right, let's just go do that. Boom. Boom. Hey, look, it's Vygotsky. Uh, you should know what that means, by the way. And Duke. All right, so background, all that good stuff. And oh, there's still room for more. Look at that, it's letting me add more. Okay, all right, I'll throw in one more just for the heck of it. Okay, I think I got it all. I, I think I've got them all. All right, so again, I could hit the record button or I could just let this one do its thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, hop out and Oh, look what it does. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Now, when you get to the point where you're ready to preview it, and by the way, you can preview it at any point in time in your presentation. You don't have to wait to the end. And I would strongly recommend you preview, preview, preview. As you can see, I've been previewing it as I go through. I listen to each one of my slides. But at some point, you might want to look at the whole thing and to see if it's holding up. Sorry about that. That's my Chrome. Okay. And it's basically generating my preview. And it's going to take about 15 seconds. And here's the effective teacher cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. The 
the role of the effective teacher should be a guide. It should be a cheerleader. It should be someone who's there to make sure that their students succeed. Fun stuff. Curriculum in the effective teacher's classroom of the 21st century is multifaceted. All right, let's go back to editing. All right, so here we are. Uh, why didn't that show up? Someone out there is yelling at me right now. Let's see. Not, maybe that only shows up in the final. Somebody figure that out and let me know, okay? Because I'm, I'm obviously it's in there because I'm talking. Try that again, just to see. The effective teacher cares. The effective teacher cares about their students. The effect. The effective teacher cares. I put it in here. Uh, the effective teacher cares. Do I need to do that to it? And then I do that to it. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it because I know it works. Now, what do we do about finishing? So you go to preview, and once you've watched the preview, if you like it, everything looks good, produce it. Once you produce it, it wants a title. So this is where you get your name on it, okay? Swan, effective. Don't worry about date. Producer name. Put your name there. Don't worry about uh, description. The video quality it won't let you choose because it's a you know trial, which is a shame. But that's okay because it's not going to really be that bad. And then I'm going to do a finish, and it's going to give me a look at it one more time. But here's the important part. Down here, look what you can do with this. So if you're thinking about using this um, for your own, look, you got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you got YouTube, you could throw these things at. For our purposes, all Betty wants you to do is the effective teacher cares. The hey, look, there it is. Yay! I knew it was gonna be there. The effective teacher cares about their students and what they learn and how they learn. You heard me counting. All right. Right here. All you need to do is copy this link. Copied. Now, I'm going to let her decide how she wants you to give this to her. You could just email it to her at this point. But I'm going to be Mr. Snickety. And I'm going to say, hey, wouldn't it be cool to go to your Google Classroom that we built? And I'm going to share this with my classroom. This is my Anamoto. And I'm going to add, how am I going to add it? Remember, I'm going to come down here to the link button. And I'm going to drop in that link that I just did. And I'm going to add it. Now, if you have invited Betty to your classroom and if she has come to your classroom, bam, you now have it all set and ready to go to send to her. See, all students. I'm going to let her decide on that. And then, of course, I go to post it. And what it does, and you know this from what we learned, is it now sends it to her uh, in an um, email uh, from your Google Classroom. So there it is. That is how to do the Animoto for your part of your final. As always, if you have questions, if you have anything questionable uh, in your mind about what I showed you today, or you get yourself into a corner in the Animoto software, you do not wait one second. You get on your phone and you text me 502-457-2937. And in fact, because we now have Collaborate turned on in our course here, if we have to, you and I can meet up in the class, in this Collaborate, the thing I'm using right now that teaches to you, 
and you can show me your Animoto and we can do it in real time. We can look at it together and I can help you fix whatever you're having trouble with understanding. I hope you enjoy doing this as much as I do uh, showing you <laughs> how to do it. And I hope that um, you'll use this. I think it's a really cool tool that helps people uh, get their information out uh, in multiple ways. I mean, goodness gracious, look at all these different ways it'll let you send out an Animoto. Have fun, uh, but think. Use all of the knowledge that you have accrued from this class. Answer that prompt. What does it take to be an effective teacher in the 21st century? And do it with those scaffolds that you have there. I hope one day to see all of you again. I think we will. We'll get through this. Don't worry. Uh, Betty and I are, well, I was going to say old enough. Let's say Betty and I are experienced enough that we've lived through things like this before. And we all have come through it and we all will be fine. Just remember, take care of each other. Remember to take care of yourself. Take care of your family members. Take care of your friends. If we look after each other, we'll come out better than we were before. See ya.